I'll tell you what, Kendra and I have been looking forward to this match for a number of weeks, ever since these two last faced off. Johnny King picking up the victory in that one, but I'm, I'm not counting out Ninja Fury. I mean, oh no, no way. Ninja Fury is, uh, I've said it time and time again, he is the future of this company. He uh, really is full of heart, full of fight. Normally a tag team wrestler, but I tell you what, he is going to make a fine singles competitor um, as he grows into this uh, position on uh, the IPW roster. That's right, Ninja Fury is so famous for his high flying techniques, but as we've already seen here in the match tonight, not afraid to ground the match and use his technical prowess either. Oh, Ninja Fury uh, coming up short. That's a uh, strike two. Hey, I'm not sure if uh, trying to outpower the larger man is a wiser uh, Oh, how's the trap him though? There we go. Well, you have to get up pretty early in the morning to outsmart Johnny King, but oh, Ninja great. Fury must have been up at Sparrow's fart. Oh, look at the speed of Ninja Fury, those arm drags. Oh, Johnny King, uh, just not quick enough. Well, and look how quickly Ninja Fury managed to lock in that armbar submission there. And he's got Johnny King grounded and, and fighting out of the submission. I mean, it's how often you see this happening. That's right. There's definite shades of uh, Ninja Fury's former tag team partner, Pirate Burns, there. And, you know, he used to be known as, uh, as the submission specialist of the tag team. But clearly, you can't hang out for so long as uh, Pirates and Ninjas are did without uh, learning a trick or two from your partner. Well, that's right. Pirate Burns been on the shelf for a number of months after uh, having his arm viciously broken by New Zealand's favourite tag team, St. Chaos. And... Uh, almost a little bit of a payback here. I mean, St. Chaos and Johnny King, both part of that pure wrestling excellence faction that's been so so dominant here in IPW. Oh, Johnny King. This is where he's dangerous. Oh, oh back to that armbar. This could be it. Johnny King showing his experience. He manages to get the ropes. Nah, having to point the referee towards that ropes there. Oh, I tell you what, I'm not, I'm not sure where they got the, this referee. He needs, he needs to be a bit quicker on the uptake. That could have cost Johnny King the match. But now this is the, the experience of Johnny King here, going to the outside, taking a breather, using that 10 count. But Liam Fury deciding he's not willing to wait around. Oh, Liam Fury half saw that... Uh, Half saw that King has moved out of the way, tried to stop himself. Unfortunately, Le Liam Fury fully committed to that suicide dive. He, he managed to hook a rope, but still went plummeting to the ground and hit with that vicious thud. And of course, uh, Ninja Fury, uh, he uh, had a great weekend at Armageddon, but he did injure his knee there. And I wonder if he's still feeling the effects of that. That's right, he was in a brutal battle with IBW champion Dal Knox. And the deal down now is focusing on that knee, grinding the flyer, and you've got to wonder if there was some permanent damage there. I saw that match firsthand, and it was brutal. That's right, and, uh, and also there was that suicide dive where he landed, landed badly in the final match at Armageddon. And th this is quite possibly why Liam Fury has gone for more of a technical outlook on this match. Maybe he was uh, holding an injury going into this. I tell you what, though, I have to say, this is probably the best chance Liam Fury's had of taking out Johnny King. As we mentioned previously, Johnny King won. But he's without St. Chaos's support by his own choosing. He feels he can beat Liam Fury without their help, and he's trying to prove that. But if anything, as I said, this is Liam Fury's best chance to try and get a win over Johnny King. Well, but not with maneuvers like uh, that. Maybe five minutes ago, Big Nate. <laughs> Johnny King uh, just, uh, I don't know, is, uh, playing with his prey there like a, like a tiger, just, uh, just uh, waiting. Brutally, Johnny King just analyzes his opponents. He picks them apart and he, he you know, finds their weaknesses and that's what he's doing. That's, he's, he's analyzing his opponent. Oh. That, that'll take the wind out of your sails. Whether you're a pirate or a ninja, I don't care. The wind has definitely been knocked out of you with a move like that. Now, one, 
one thing to keep in mind about Liam Fury is this kid has got the biggest heart in the IPW roster. He has fought back from insurmountable odds, from beatings beyond belief, when he should be un- incapacitated and unconscious. And this is right now, this is pure proof of it. Oh, absolutely. The resilience of the man is well documented. Oh, but there you go. Johnny King, uh, he knows where he is at all times. This could be a right here. And vintage Johnny King with that springboard moonsault there. Oh, just, just a, just kicked out at the last moment. Well, once again, Johnny King taking a moment to uh, analyze his opponents and decide the best way to inflict punishment. And that, I, I don't know. I don't know if uh, Liam Fury's the man that you give time to recover. Oh, did you see the hang dime? The elevation on that seated missile drop kick there. It's, uh, he, he was defying gravity with that. He was just he hung in midair like Michael Jordan. Ninja, 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 ninja. Johnny King wants to show his opponent is, but oh, Johnny King always the always the man to cut someone off. And just vintage, vintage Johnny King there with that T-bone, T-bone suplex. Johnny King, of course, multiple uh, IPW champion. Uh, NZPWI Grand Champion. This man has done nearly everything uh, you can do in this business. That's right. He's one of the most decorated champions. Holds the record for the most successive defenses of the IPW heavyweight title. Also holds the record for shortest reign, I believe. Wow, well, come on, Ken. And I went not all ones for statistics and numbers here. I'm all about the wrestling. Liam Fury trying to get the crowd behind him there and trying to stir up a bit of momentum. Johnny King really wants to cut him off and just stop him getting any of that momentum, otherwise he could end up worse off. Oh, Ed Seguri, this could be it. Look at Johnny King, he looks in a lot of pain. Call that foot right behind the eardrum. That could have burst his eardrum. It could be it all here. And Ninja Fury connecting with a middle rope moonsault of his own. Johnny King kicking out a two and nine tenths and uh, once again back to those arm based submissions. Oh, here comes St. Chaos. I thought Johnny King said he could do it by himself. While well, St. Chaos coming to the uh, the aid of their PWE Pure Wrestling Excellence tag or teammate, but Johnny King looking a little upset, if anything. He wanted to prove he could do this by himself. And Oh, roll up. Johnny King caught jaw jacking. Oh, but Johnny Silence. King catches Liam Fury with that sidekick. And your winner, John E. King. Well, Johnny King connects with that Simon to super kick, but a bit of dissension in the ranks here for uh, Pure Wrestling Excellence team captain Johnny King happy with them disobeying on their orders. I was about to say, he doesn't look like a man who's just won a match. He looks upset. 